Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick demo of the Basic Tower Defense Asset Pack from Unreal Engine Marketplace. This is something that I developed to give you a starting point for a tower defense game. Quick look at the map here. It's a pretty basic map. Uh, the idea is that characters will spawn in the distance here behind these white cylinders and they'll try and make their way up to what I'm calling the castle gate here. And if they successfully get in, then your health will decrease. Um, if you kill enemies, you gain coins and those coins will allow you to buy turrets to continue killing the enemies. Um, to go over it real quick, inside the first folder, there's gonna be a folder with your turrets, a, total, a folder with a player controller, a player character, and this is gonna be for you, the user. This, a folder with this map, a folder with displays and widgets, and the demo folder contains the enemy characters. Looking in the turrets folder, we have a turret master blueprint and a projectile master blueprint. These are what you're gonna make children of to create additional projectiles and turrets. In the basic gun folder, we have everything for the basic gun, the death gun in the death gun folder, and the heavy gun in the heavy gun folder. The preview folder is just for some assets used to preview during building, which I'll show during gameplay. So let's go ahead and start a round and see what it looks like. So in the game, we're gonna see our display at the top with the wave, health, and coins. Currently it's set up to start with 300 coins, but you can change these settings as you deem necessary. If you hit the weapons menu, you can select a weapon depending on how many coins you have and I'm gonna go ahead and place that there. The turret will automatically turn when an enemy is in range and fire on them. You'll notice when placing a turret that the preview is green in a buildable area, but if we go out into a non-buildable area, it is red, or if we are where an enemy is, we can't place it there as well. So as each wave continues. When we kill all the enemies, more will spawn. And as we kill them, we will gain more coins in order to buy more guns. After this wave, uh, hopefully we'll have enough coins and we can go ahead and buy a heavy turret. All right, so we're at 500 coins after that wave. We need another 100 to get that. Um, and we should have it on these guys. As we continue through waves, we'll get three different types of characters. There will be a yellow character who is harder than the basic characters. They have more health and do more damage if they get to the castle gate. And then there's also a red character. So now we have enough to afford this heavy gun, which I'm gonna place up here. The heavy gun currently functions a lot like the basic gun, but has more damage. And you'll see that in this wave, we have one of these yellow characters that spawn there. The heavy gun does enough damage to take care of the yellow character. If it were the basic guns, it would take multiple hits. Again, these settings are all things that you can change, uh, whether it's damage, uh, the speed of the projectile, for the characters, how much health they have. It's all editable. This is really meant to be a base pack for you to build your turret defense game on. So soon we should be able to get this gun here as well. I'm gonna place this one up here. I probably should have placed it here so you can see better. But nevertheless, it functions in a similar way except for the projectile has a splash damage enabled, which really just means that when the projectile hits something, it's gonna damage all of the targets within a certain distance around it rather than just the target that it hits. I'm gonna go ahead and place another one here just so you can get a better view. Health is still at 100 as we haven't let anybody get to our gate, but these characters will continue and if they were to beat our defenses and go through this gate, then our health would start to decrease. I'm going to go ahead and stop and then we're going to 
take a look at the map a little bit more real quick. We'll see how our camera is just perched up over the castle gate. That's where we view when we started playing. The buildable area trigger box is a box in which you're able to build your turrets. If you want to change that, you can expand or change the location of this. And then the area that the enemies can navigate in is going to be the nav mesh bounds volume. And if you press the P button while on the map, you can see a green area highlighted, which is the area of which the enemies are um, trying to navigate through. There is a start location, which is randomly selected from these target points. And then a finish location, which is in this gate here. That's a quick overview of this package. Um, if you have any questions, we have support on Discord and on our website. I'll provide the link below, as well as a link to the Unreal Engine Marketplace so that you can purchase this asset if you choose to. Thanks.